You're here with a big message for global leaders and government leaders. Also took out a full page ad today in the Wall Street Journal to make this point that you're a cigarette company that doesn't want to be selling cigarettes anymore. How does that work? Well, I mean, we set a new mission for the company is to replace cigarettes as soon as possible by better alternatives for the men and women who smoke that essentially have one common denominator that is they don't combust tobacco so they don't generate smoke they're smoke free because the problem in smoking is the delivery system is to burn tobacco to deliver nicotine and taste and if you don't then you reduce the toxicity by a very large degree uh, and that's the mission we set to ourselves now the reason we are in Davos clearly is because to achieve this or as powerful as a company and the financial resources we have, we also need help. Help from people in public health, opinion leaders internationally, and governments eventually to adapt the regulation. How much does smokeless products actually reduce health risk? Well, the reduction in toxicity uh, is ranging from 90% for certain products, heated tobacco products, to almost 99% for e-vapor products. Of course, all the products have nicotine and some residual risk, so there are no zero-risk products. It has to be very clear. So what happens? Now, we, have not, we should not be confusing in the absolute quantification of the reduction in risk that you can only have after years of epidemiology, but the actual fact is all the scientific preclinical and clinical analysis we've done points to the direction that all these products are better than cigarettes. And I think people who would other, not otherwise quit completely use of nicotine should switch to these products and these products should be made available to the one billion people that smoke today and will continue smoking tomorrow around the planet. What does that mean for the future of Marlboro and Parliament, some of your other storied brands? Well, we, we have a new brand uh, that is called ICOS that we are building and actually is not only one product is multiple platforms one is heated tobacco products that have the highest ability to switch people who smoke out of cigarettes actually actual fact from markets who are present were present in 46 markets is that between 75 to 80 percent of people who buy this product switch completely out of cigarettes stop smoking and use only these products, which is pretty significant in my view. Um, but we have e-vapor products as well, because I th and pure nicotine products, because I think over time, but also during different times in life, people have different needs, and I think there is room for all these products. So clearly, as cigarettes decline, uh, you know, we want to be very competitive and very strong You'll bars. push them into the alternative. But we, the, the idea is to push them in the alternative. Now, today, it's pretty clear that for a variety of regulatory but also perceptual reasons, having Marlboro, which is the archetype of cigarettes, as the brand that is behind the better products, the reduced risk products, would not be something that is acceptable by regulators or sometimes even you know, people in public health. So we made the conscious decision to disrupt even that part of an iconic product with a new brand. With a new brand, and then over time, once emotions run away yeah. from the current debate, we'll see what happens to Marlboro. Finally, everyone wants to know why you're not investing in cannabis, where that's that's where the growth is. Well, you know, we have no plans, as I explained many times, currently for the cannabis business, and I think there are four reasons for that. The first is the science, despite all the hype, is not very very established yet. There is a lot of talk about the positives, and there certainly are, but there are also negatives that we all need to understand. The second part is the economics. This is an embryonic industry that is still fragmented with no real emerging technology or brand. And thirdly and importantly, we operate on worldwide markets, so not every country is on the same page in accepting the principle not even the decriminalization. So we have to take all this into consideration. And above all, we have a mission to accomplish in switching people out of cigarettes. And I think from an organizational perspective, 
we have enough on our plate just now to do this. And they always, yeah. And that's our priority, clearly. Sounds like you want to make sure that marijuana is not the next cigarettes. I think they're very different products, and I think there is room for all kinds of products. But my priority here is one billion people out there, 40 million in America, they continue smoking and they will continue to smoke. So we must give them better alternatives.